Alright, I think this thing's recording. Alright, so it's about to start raining. I was thinking about doing just a little sit on the porch and talk about this story. Because yesterday was an incredible evening. I've had a lot of those lately, but this this was another one worth telling a story. Come here. So anyway, Melissa had a friend who's going through a breakup stay over last night. Uh, I'll just call it T. Pretty amazing person. Into some really interesting things. Been living in Prague for the last five years. Or something like that. Anyway, Melissa and her are chatting up, having a talk, and I'm not trying to invade the conversation too much. It's pretty serious. She's going through a breakup, and um, she's here temporarily. Well, she's coming back. She's in Orlando at the moment. Telling a fascinating person that's up to amazing things. Anyway, I'm running around, just kind of piddling around, picking up some glass in the yard, finding things here and there. I get to the front yard, and I notice a bit of a crowd is gathered at one of the other houses. And there's a fucking pit bull on the roof of my neighbor's house to the immediate, uh, if you're facing the house to the immediate left of me. An old pit bull. Looks like a boy. It's so built. I found out later it was a girl. Well, I made a new buddy, right? I got a new buddy, don't I? She likes me. Anyway, yesterday, this thing is pacing around. It's pretty fucking hot out. And this thing is just overexcited. Uh, and we, and Big Mike across the street is he's like he's gonna do it he's gonna do it and I'm like oh fuck here we go and this fucking pit bull jumped off a two story fucking roof I'll show you right here all right so that roof right there above that porch you can see right right there. Right there, the dog was running around on top of that roof, and on the corner there, on the corner closest to you, the corner I was just pointing to, Superman jump and squashes out like a cat on the grass, and I immediately, I, was, I wasn't close enough to even attempt to try to catch a damn thing, but... Um, I, uh, immediately just hopped on top of it and grabbed its neck, you know, and started talking to it, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, kind of thing, and it didn't move, it didn't go crazy, it didn't do anything, and I rolled it over, it's on its belly, and I just talked to it, and it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, and then, um, too bad I can't have a dog, I, too bad I don't want a dog, I, I am quite the believer that dogs are better than people. Diogenes or Diogenes, however you want to say it, I'm quite a believer of that. And the reason I should make myself get the frog, but um, this was probably around four or five o'clock, maybe a little after that, when the dog jumped off the roof. So Big Mike gives me a big chain. I wrap it around her. I walk around a little bit. Uh, take care of her for a little bit, give her some water, Even, eventually we gave her some cat food. And Melissa, T, and myself, we chilled out with this dog for until about midnight, I think, they went inside. Uh, you know, I got, I sat out on the porch, half passed out, waiting on these assholes to come home who had left their dog out for more than, left their dog alone for more than eight hours, let alone, who knows why, it's just so anxious to get the hell out of there. They do have two or three other dogs in there, too. But, about two o'clock in the morning, maybe one thirty. I can't recall. I was pretty fucked up. I walk over there with their, well, actually, eventually we ended up 
chaining their dog to the porch with a note on the door that said something about what we what I just told you, how we hung out with the dog and jumped off the roof. She seems okay, she's very sweet. Um She's a little mangy, I think. I don't know. Her, her ears are a little fucked up. And uh, it doesn't look like she's had kids, no pups or anything. She looks like if you are just kind of groom her up and get her, get her a little cleaned up. I mean, she looks like she's in good shape because she's just so thick. She looks like a boy dog. It's, it's, a, it's a girl. But um, she's really short-legged, really really barrel chested just all fucking muscle she's strong as shit and uh, she really likes me unfortunately <laughs> I can't take her she uh I just saw so she got out again today but anyway I'm I about two o'clock in the morning I I uh, I approached them when their car woke me up on the I was on the porch just with my knees up in the chair, fucking just closed eye visuals, just fucking thinking about a tattoo I may one of these days never get about a full, it's like from here that goes onto, onto the back of my neck and it's interwoven with red and black, maybe some purple in there, I was thinking about sort of spinal muscle tissue, just some sort of fictionalized, nothing biomech, you know, none of that Giger shit, but, um, I shouldn't say Giger shit, I like Giger, I just don't like the Giger tattoos that people get, what a fucking retards. There's a lot of good ones too, but there's just this biomech genre now. I don't want to associate with any genres of tattoos. If I'm going to get one, I'll probably get some at some point. That one I wouldn't do myself. The other ones I have ideas for, I would probably just stick myself or have someone I trust poke me up. I don't want to do it with a gun on those. Or a machine. Excuse me. It's not a tattoo gun. But, uh, yeah, I approached them and uh, it was quite a... quite a calculated approach. Uh, these neighbors have not been very friendly to me uh, since I've moved here. I have not sensed any friendliness from them. Um, I've sensed just a lot of ignorance and stupidity uh, sort of approaching me on the street and asking me right, to move my vehicle to another spot because it's too, it's in front of their house, things like that, just really stupid, like these men, it's two women, it's like these men that are coming in and out, and, you know, the messenger, they're the messenger for that sort of message, sort of thing, like, like, it's this, like, skinny ass little motherfucker, too, so, and he didn't know what to take of me when I, like, how I responded with my, sort of, Oh yeah, okay, but yeah, I got you. It's like I, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll move. Yeah, no worries. But if that spot's open and there's no others, I'm parking there. He's like, oh, I understand. Yeah, you learned just then is what you did, because you did not understand two seconds ago. So they're not hopeless, but they're idiots. And uh, so right now, there there's no one in the house. Uh, the dog is. The dog is, has escaped again. I guess I, I keep getting distracted. I'm not very good at this. One reason I'm... Well, I'm good at this, but uh, it takes practice to tell the story the right way, so I'm trying to hone it in. I think this is the fellow that I had to... Had to add, I think that's him. Well, he's going to drive away. He doesn't care about this damn dog. I'm just going to let the dog hang out on the porch for a while. So I, I approached them and said, hey, you know, your dog jumped out the window. They had this way of speaking that I can't even emulate. I'm usually pretty good at honing in on it. Thankfully, I haven't heard people speak this way enough that I can, I can really copy it. Um, best way I could describe it is maybe some sort of 
ratchet ass club girl kind of I it was cartoony man I I it was exi so such a, a such a extreme exaggeration of that sort of thing that it might as well have been an SNL skit it would have been rather revolting but this was real life and I was and I was approaching it and engaged with it face to face they looked pleasant enough, looked normal enough, but there was something about the way they spoke and how everything I seemed to say about the dog went right over their heads that really upset me because they, they made it clear that there was really no love for the dog. They were just kind of waiting for the dog to die. They told me it was 13 years old, it's got heartworms that, um, there, there's, it's not worth treating the heartworms because she's 13. And if you look at her, she's such a machine, such a fucking tank, man. She's got plenty more years to live. What's a heartworm medication? A couple hundred bucks? I bet you if you found the right place, program, there's someone willing to help you out, reduce the cost. I don't know. This is why I don't have a fucking dog, man. These sort of things pull on my strings. I do fucking anything for a dog. I'd set myself out, sell my fucking car, even shit like that. You know, I don't have a dog because I cannot commit myself to another thing's life that can't rely, that can't live the way it ought to live without me. That's why I don't have a relationship right now. That's why I don't have a fucking pet because I'm trying to take care of myself, I'm trying to love myself, and I don't want any other responsibilities. I'm not far from being good off to have a relationship again, maybe even some kids soon. But god damn, man. Pet owners make me sick most of the time. People living in fucking apartments with pets, walking around the city, fuck you. Most of you. Most of you, fuck you. Okay? Fucking struggling your ass off just to make rent. You're, you're leaving the house eight, nine hours a day. Dogs sitting around. Fuck you. Fuck you. You know who has good dogs? The fucking gutter punks. They spend 24 fucking hours a day with them. Nah. I, I don't know where the fuck they are, man. I, I, I'll I just hang out with it. It's cool. Do you know them? Yeah. It's... I don't know. I'll, I'll talk to them. If they're trying to get rid of it, maybe I'll help them get rid of it. This 13-year-old dog, she's a sweetheart, man. And something, something's up. She don't want to be there. No, that jump must have hurt. Had to have. And it was, it was another eight hours before anyone came home. It's a long time to leave an old dog by itself. Don't you think? Yeah, right. I'll figure something out. So, yeah, the whole neighborhood's fucking furious. This, this, uh, I like this neighborhood. We don't, we don't really like fuckheads being around. And, uh, the neighbors right here are fucking up, if you ask me. Especially with the dog, man. It's like one thing, if you want to want to charge hard and wreck your own life a little bit, you know, be a little weird, I do that. You know? But, hey, man. I don't like this one bit. See, see how sweet a dog she is? This is such a sweet dog. She is such a sweet dog. Yeah, you're a sweet thing. You're hurting. So I'm slightly com conflicted here. Or I'm rather conflicted because, well, I like this dog. But at the same time, I understand that I don't want to cause trouble for somebody. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I don't want to have to... I mean, at this point we're looking at almost a, cl a criminal animal abuse situation possibly here where you've got... just. Uh, I mean, the dog looks fed, though. It's hard, it's hard man. I, I, I don't know the situation how they acquired the dog. Uh, you know, I don't know the situation and how nice it is treated. I do notice that if I move quickly to its head, it thinks I'm going to hit it, 
things like that, so that's probably something that happens often. This is a good goddamn dog, man. It's 13 fucking years old. She told me it has heartworms. I, I think I fucking mentioned this. I'm just ranting. She's just hanging out on the porch. Apparently she's been running around the neighborhood all day. I have no idea how long the, the folks have been gone. I don't know if it's a matter of they're locked into work commitments. I know there's two of them there. There's usually some kids over there, too. Um, you know, this got into discussions with T about Prague. and the, the work week there is pretty low. Right now, there are protests and violent, violent police responses to uh, folks trying to make sure the working week doesn't increase. Here in the United States, we have a 40-hour work week. It ought to be lower to be able to, to live. Um, and anyone that's trapped into that 40-hour work week ought not to have a dog unless they have the appropriate support from other folks in the home or using something I met a pretty indi in, uh, fascinating individual who has a a dog walking app that he's developing right now. He's going to be a millionaire. He's developing a dog walking app. The premise I probably shouldn't tell you because it's it's one of those things. It's a little bit like the uh, putting an egg upside down and letting it balance trick where it's simple enough and the idea that there are definitely many, many people out there with with the skill in coding and executing it. Um, but he's pretty far along. It's probably not all that far away from launch. He was showing me things and it's going to utilize social media. It's going to utilize uh, a lot of uh, other things like taxi companies are utilizing for logistics. Uh, he's got a kid at the cafe who's got to get a real job because he's not meant for not meant for the gigs that he's suffering through right now because he's got a gift for mathematics and uh, pretty high level with just uh, what is he called data analysis and stuff but he's just a kind of he's too quirky for a for a for a, a regular gig man too quirky for the office life too he keeps getting fired from jobs not because he's not doing them right is my guess but I think he just comes across as some autistic stoner and it's aggravating for me as a boss that that's kind of how he acts, acts too. But I understand him. I care about him. I try to coach him through a little bit of these things that he has to be a little more aware of and how he's perceived, especially from people that are firing him. The weather is a little electric right now. It feels fucking good. I'm thinking about swinging in the hammock, but I don't have a place on the front porch to hang it up and in the back and I'll just get wet when it rains. I don't know this dog's name. They didn't tell me the dog's name when I gave it over. They thanked me, but it was just like they didn't give a fuck about this dog. They were more worried about the hole the dog put in the window. Now the dog's put another fucking hole in the window. I don't know if they put one in the bottom. I think that's what they were saying. They have fucking jumped off the roof again, for Christ's sake. So at this point, If the, the folks come home, any, I'm just going to just let the dog chill here, go inside when I go inside, I guess. I even offered, when I gave the dog back, I offered, said, hey, if you need help with somebody walking this dog you know, while you're gone at work or something, I live next door, I have days off every now and then, if there's a way I can let the dog out to piss, that kind of thing, walk it around, run it, dog, dog with that kind of meat needs to be run, it needs to, needs to, needs to be able to do some things with its chest, you know. I guess I'm somewhat a pit bull squirrel myself. Like I said, I just cannot have a dog. I cannot. I love dogs. I love cats. I love rabbits. But...
people with pets usually piss me off. Because they don't realize that the pets are so... People with pets that don't have time for the pets piss me off. Cats, it's a little less because cats are so much more independent. They kind of want you to fuck away from them for sometimes the whole day. Our, uh, our little rescue cat, Felix, he'd disappear for a week at a time sometimes in the, in the mountains, you know? Come back looking like he'd fuck some shit up. Maybe got his ass kicked a couple times himself. And he'd chill out. Now he's an old ass man. He doesn't go out much anymore. Just kind of lays around on my dad's lap. He's one of those cats that likes to get smacked, too. Um, he'll latch on, stick his ass in the air, and he just kind of bounces his ass back and forth. I like I like that. My favorite cats are the ones that are real slinky, though. Uh, Ex-girlfriend is living with a fella that has one that's of that quality, but just didn't get quite the weirdo treatment to where... It, it would understand some of the things. You can kind of do it with a little bit. But like, I had a cat named Ichabod with an, with the next, my first, my first real girlfriend. Um, like a dumbass, I got in a relationship pretty early when I was at Virginia Tech. Got enamored with a girl because she had a really nice couple tricks she could do. She was a butterfly swimmer, so. <clears throat> Long story <laughs> She could tighten things up so much that I couldn't even put it in. So, like, when I was in there and she tightened things up, and she would, she would, well, she was easy to get off. Didn't have to, it, she wasn't much of a puzzle in that sense. All these fucking women now keep running into so much of a fucking puzzle. Usually gets there, but I don't know. Well, I don't know. Just depends. Like fucking like three or four times a day when I can. Like eating pussy. That usually does the trick enough, at least that they're just fucking. <sighs> so I'll do that. At least they get. Um, the sexual stuff, like the the fucking that I've been up to lately, is uh, been some of the most inten intense I've had since I was yeah nineteen or twenty. I mean, I'm I'm in good shape, um, but I've got sort of a little bit different approach, I guess, than I did when I was there at that age, you know, it was sort of almost humorous as to the, as to, like, the marathons and the, the intensities and the, 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 I don't know, now it's just, I don't know, it's a lot more like love making in a sense to be such a cheese, but it's a lot more, a lot more intimate, and, um, some girls that scares the piss out of girls that scares the piss out of. Been a while since I've been with an older woman, too. They're nice. In that they have kids, they usually have like an ex-husband or something. They've got a very structured thing and they're reliable for making time for you and they make use of that time and learn some things from some older women divorcees and stuff you know <laughs> and they all have fantastic lives the bedroom chatter you know talking about things and talking about their divorces their husbands their kids their all these things some of these other women, I they don't have anything I want to hear. They don't have enough life to reflect on. Not that I have a whole lot of life to reflect on. I 
don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just gonna upload this shit as it is. I'm calling Sappho's. This dog is so sweet, man. Look at this, man. Dog just wants to chill out. Dog just wants to hang out. Dog feels safe with me, comfortable with me. I, you know, we definitely have some sort of bond now. And if I, uh, if I owned the, if I owned this house and yeah, maybe had some house housemates that were aligned with it as well, I'd try to take on the dog. It wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a life commitment for me. Still, man, a year, a year with an animal like this, you have to really give it something. You have to really give it, give it your attention. I don't understand people with dogs that don't understand that. Ex-girlfriend's one of them. Is... Yeah. When I when I finally feel like I'm in a position where I can give attention to a dog and have a have a good one. It's going to be an amazing dog. It doesn't matter what breed it is. There might be some sort of disposition for it to be a shithead. I doubt it. Um, dogs are... Man, they're better than humans. Better than humans. We don't know what to do. It's amazing out there. Earlier today I was... So I got up pretty early, something like 8 o'clock, wide awake. Um, Melissa was still in bed, T was still in bed. I was kind of hoping to hang out with her a little bit more, she's just so fascinating, but she needed to sleep. And um, went for a run. Wasn't as fast as the other day. I ran that route in like 20 minutes yesterday. I was probably running a... Okay, it's not him. But I do think it's... Okay, it's not who I thought, but I do, I do think that's the guy that asked me to... No, it's a delivery dude. This is another reason to dress... Dress uniquely, rather than look like everybody else. It's a pigeonhole you, just if you subscribe to fashion that you're seeing, like, and eh, that's a whole different discussion, because I look pretty generic right now myself, and I do quite often, when I, you know, when I go to work, I'm pretty generic myself, I call it yuppie camouflage, I'm quite good at putting on the yuppie camouflage, man, look at this dog, look at this dog, you are such a sweet dog, no, don't worry, just stay there, she's a little beat up, Little beat up, lay down. She's waiting on mama, I guess, you know. She's a little mangy, a little smelly. Maybe I should give her a bath. I don't know what to give a dog a bath with that I have around. Could probably use some cast out soap. Get out of that. Cast out soap and a water hose. Fucking scrub her down. It's gonna be wet out anyway. I gotta do some laundry tonight. I got work tomorrow. I gotta work jazz cafe, at the museum. Um, she's just looking for a little shelter right now because she knows it's about to get fucking crazy outside, and she don't want to be stuck out in it. So, if any of you have any advice. Stay here. Lay down. She probably needs some water. Yeah, she's, she, she fucked her ribs up a little, I bet. You hear her wheezing. I mean, she landed completely stretched out. You need some water? Alright, let's hope she doesn't knock my shit over. Stay. 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 
Stay. Stay. Stay. Bobby needs a little food too. Um, I don't know if anyone's got any advice on what to do with a 13 year old dog with heartworms that has owners that aren't going to do anything about it. Especially, just, I don't know, I saw them this morning walking, letting the other dogs out to pee. They have another pit bull and some other little dog. And, and this one, and I wasn't, I can't remember, it might have been another dog, but I think it was just three. So. Kind of hungry myself, maybe I'll find something to give her. Anyone has an idea for a nickname for her, I don't know, whatever, uh, Superwoman's alias fucking building. Tin roof. Fucking dog jumping off a tin, hot tin roof. How about that? So, that's that. Sorry about the stutters and long pauses. Let's go one last look at it. Look at that girl. Hey, what are you doing? Look at that. Look at that little thing. Yeah, look at that girl. <laughs> Down. God, you smell. You smell.